No, they want us to call. Can you imagine calling crooked Adam Schiff? He's so crooked. He's so crooked. Shifty Schiff. Say, gee, Adam, how you doing? Listen, we have the world's number one terrorist. Killed thousands and thousands of people. We'd like to set up a meeting so we can discuss his execution. Would, would you be willing to meet? Well, I won't be able to make it this week. Well, you know, he's traveling fast. We got him lined up, Adam. You little pencil neck. Nine inches. He buys the smallest shirt collar you can get, and it's loose. Now, come on, Adam. We got to meet faster, Adam. We got him lined up. We got to take this guy out. We're not going to have another shot at him maybe ever again. But, but I can't make it now because I'm trying to impeach Trump. I'm trying to impeach Trump. Even though he did nothing wrong. By the way, did you see I did nothing wrong? They don't even know what the hell is going on. In fact, it's so weak, she doesn't want to put in the articles. It's so weak. They're so pathetic. They're so pathetic. So they want us to call them. Now, Schiff is a big leaker. You know, he leaks to crazy CNN. See, with a little red light on all them. Not too many people are watching CNN. But he leaks. So he'll say, you know, uh, off the record, I got to hurry up because everyone's watching me in the hallway on my cell phone. Off the record, they've got the number one terrorist in the world, Soleimani, and they're going to get him. They're going to take him out in the next 10 minutes. Uh, please don't tell anybody I told you. But the, So we have, we have breaking news. President Trump, within the next 20, 25 minutes, looks to be taken out. Terrorist General Soleimani. He's going to do it. Should be happening about the next 20 minutes, 19, 18, 17. <laughs> then we get back to the battlefield. How'd you do, fellas? I don't know, sir. He disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. They want us to, they want us to tell them so that they can leak it to their friends in the corrupt media. Well, the whistleblower was very inaccurate. The whistleblower started this whole thing by writing a report on the conversation I had with the president of Ukraine. And the conversation was perfect. It couldn't have been nicer. I saw Rick Scott. I saw many of the senators talking about it, many of the congressmen talking about it. Not a thing wrong, unless you heard the Adam Schiff version where he made up my conversation. He actually made it up. It should be criminal. It should be treasonous. He made it up, every word of it made up, and read to Congress as though I said it. And I'll tell you what, he should be forced to resign from Congress. Adam Schiff, he's a lowlife. He should be forced to resign. He took a perfect conversation, realized he couldn't read it to Congress because it was perfect. It was a very nice conversation. I knew many people were on the phone. Not only were many people on the phone, we had stenographers on the phone taking it down word for word. He took that conversation, which was perfect. He said, I can't read this. So he made up a conversation, and he reported it and, and said it to Congress and to the American people. And it was horrible what he said. And that was supposed to be coming from me, but it was all fabricated. He should resign from office in disgrace. And frankly, they should look at him for treason because he is making up the words of the President of the United States. Not only words, but the meaning. And it's a disgrace. It should not be allowed to happen. And your own DNI said that Todd Hanscom was consistent with the complaint. So should No, 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 he didn't say that. You have to take a look. No, 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 he did not say that. And in fact, if you look at what he said, he found everything to be very normal. He's a good man, and Joe, and he found it to be very normal. I saw Schiff trying to go 15, you know, call him Shifty Schiff. We don't call him Shifty Schiff for nothing. He's a shifty, dishonest guy who, by the way, was critical of one of the great Secretary of States, graduated number one in his class at West Point. 
graduated top of the, one of the top in his class at Harvard Law School. The most honorable person, Mike Pompeo. And this guy was negative on Mike Pompeo. He can't, you know, there's an expression. He couldn't carry his blank strap. I won't say it because they'll say it was so terrible to say. But that guy couldn't carry his blank strap. You understand that? So you're dealing with bad people. And you know, I watched China over the last few days, and I watched some of these other countries build up, build up, build up. And we built up more than anyone because of me. But no help from the Democrats. They're a disaster. Do nothing Democrats. They don't do any work. All they want to do is try and win the election in 2020. So they come up with this impeachment nonsense, and everyone knows. The conversation, all based on one phone call that I had, where I'm talking to the president of Ukraine. You'll hear from our ambassadors. You'll hear from some of the folks that know all about the call, why the call was set up, and everything else. It's perfect. The call was perfect. As you know, and you probably now have figured it out, uh, the statement I made to the president of Ukraine, a good man, a nice man, knew, uh, was perfect. It was perfect. But the whistleblower reported a totally different statement, like the statement it was not even made. I guess statement you could say with call. I made a call. The call was perfect. Uh, when the whistleblower reported it, he made it sound terrible. And then you had Adam Schiff, who, even worse, made up my words, which I think is just a horrible thing. I've never even think, seen a thing like that. Adam Schiff, representative, congressman, made up what I said. He actually took words and made it up. The reason is, when he saw my call to the president of Ukraine, it was so good that he couldn't quote from it because there was nothing done wrong. It was perfect. So Adam Schiff decided, I can't let this happen. So let me make up. Do you ever hear of this one, Gene? Do you ever hear of anything like this? So Adam Schiff made up a phony call, and he read it to Congress, and he read it to the people of the United States. And it's a disgrace. This whole thing is a disgrace. There's been tremendous corruption, and we're seeking it. It's called drain the swamp. There's been corruption on the other side. There's been corruption like you've never seen. Now, the new president of Ukraine ran on the basis of no corruption. That's how he got elected. And I believe that he really means it. But there was a lot of... That's enough. President, I did, That's well, enough. I ask one of the, the other got folks. the smallest, thinnest neck I've ever seen. And when you ask a question like that, it's very deceptive, John. It's almost as deceptive as you showing all of the bombings taking place in Syria. And it turned out that the bombing that you showed on television took place in Kentucky. Pocahontas. There's only one. And it's not her. I think you've set a, a new bar today for being contentious with the press corps, kind of calling us losers to our faces and all that. Is no, this No, not all of you, just many of you. Right. What Joe Biden said on tape, this isn't like gee whiz we think. Hunter, you're a loser. Why did you get $1.5 billion, Hunter? There's a warning. Yeah. And when you want to kick out someone... <laughs> you, there's no way you're treated worse than I am. <laughs> if that ever happened to a Republican, they'd be getting the electric chair right now. They'd be right now being walked into the electric chair. What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. Why keep repeating what some people would see as a clear lie? Well, Why it was annexed during President, I know you like President Obama, but it was annexed during President Obama's term. If it was annexed during my term, I'd say, Sorry, folks. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. Green New Deal. I think it's a wonderful thing. I do want to think about it. I want to study it closely. I want to see whether or not we should ever use airplanes again. When the wind stops blowing, that's the end of your electric. Let's hurry up. Darling? Darling, is the wind blowing today? I'd like to watch television, darling. Then you have the case of this wise guy, Jesse Smollett, who beat up himself. It's called MAGA country. You know, I didn't hear that term until that third-rate actor. We just gave Conan a, a medal and a plaque. Conan is a tough cookie. And uh, it's trained that if you open your mouth, you will be attacked. You want to be very, very careful. They put Joe Biden in charge of Ukraine policy. Listen to this. And the press will not write it. They say 
in totally unsubstantiated charges every time they talk about him. President Trump has said that his son walked away with a fortune. Now, you know that's a totally unsubstantiated charge. Really? Adam Schiff, Shifty Schiff, he said seven or eight times, Sean, it was terrible. Seven or eight times that I gave a quid pro quo. It's not unsubstantiated, it's fact. Joe's son, Hunter, got thrown out of the Navy and then he became a genius on Wall Street in about two days. 